What nonsense! <laughs> what you good at that inflicting things on me go on hit me hit me hit me daddy <clears throat> hit me you're so impossible mm -hmm. you make a spectacle of yourself and i don't see any sign of remorse <sighs> do you know who we are in this city <laughs> if five people are being talked about we are among the top three. Yet, that doesn't mean anything to you. You keep drinking and getting high and making a nuisance of yourself all around. No, it's a shame, it is. I'm sorry, Daddy, and I'm so sorry for <laughs> not being the daughter you always wanted. The robotic <laughs> of feeling daughter. <laughs> but it's all your fault because you leave me lonely, you leave me with less affection, and it makes me the use as you talked about. See? So please punish me. Punish me, Daddy. Just just punish me. So daddy, you know, you know the worst punishment? Being your daughter. For real. Have you ever thought about it? Yes. Oh. Yes. You have refused to behave like a grown-up. You keep complaining about lack of love and affection, even as an adult. Anyway, I'll continue to treat you like a teenager. Then I would make sure I ground you and take away all your play toys. If I must. <laughs> Just to keep you in check. Uh -huh. That's who you were, Daddy. You were the expert in that. So it's fine. It's fine. You've done everything. You've left me lonely. You've left me with less affection. You've left me here lonely, Daddy. You leave me lonely. So just kill me. Daddy, please kill me. Just kill me and get over with it. Get over with this nuisance. You have as a daughter, please. Just kill me. Come on, let go of me. Let go kill me, Daddy. Let go Nonsense. You mean that? No. <laughs> what kind of thing is this? Look, ah, you're not going to attack because it's going to be a huge loss to me. <sighs> I've invested so much in you by giving you quality education. I mean, quality education. So you're not going to die. Because you still have so much to offer this old man. Your old man. daughter is a handful, isn't she? Chief, it's my job to make sure she's well protected and taken good care of. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. That must have been working for the for past 25 years. And you have all our secrets because I opened them up to you. And our lives are virtually in your hands. I have made you rich, very rich, and I intend to make you even richer. If only you remain loyal and helpful to me towards achieving my desired goal, my strongest and biggest goal. 
Chief, look, whatever you want to have me do for you, just name it and consider it done. I want you to help me take down my strongest competitor in the hospitality industry. Chalice is our biggest game plan. I've reached a truce with this organization that's uh, Dynasty Hotels and Results. And we have decided on a business alliance strengthened and marriage between Chalice and their son Harry. She has a genuine stroke. Yes. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Well, the marriage will happen. So tell me, why Why do you feel so bothered? Thomas, who is that man that will want to marry a woman that is so messed up and dysfunctional? Like my daughter. Who? You know something? I want you to help me get her in line and clean up whatever mess must have created without making it public knowledge. You see, I won't want Charles to ruin my option of pulling down those people, you know, from the business totally for good. So uh, I'll become her shadow if I must, and ensure that all your plans succeed. Thank you. Now, what about the press? Have you been able to clean up all the mess it created there this morning? I'm surprised to hear from you, this from you, Chief. I, I, I should know by now that I'm on top of the situation. I, I know that you must have given them money to silence them. Because I greased their plans. The press has been well taken care of. Very good. I mean, no bad news will be circulated about chance. Thank you very much. Christian Thames. It's already noon. Oh, I can see you out of bed. I'm your mother. Uh -uh. Step mother. Don't you ever get it twisted. What is it? Mind you, you can never play the role of my mother. What do you want? I came to talk with you. Your father is not harsh. Alright? He loves you so much and he wants the best for you. He wants, even when he's gone, you still be doing well as a woman you're supposed to be. Okay. I have a question for you. Do you love my father? Wholeheartedly. I love him so much. I almost believed you. Okay, my father is very rich and really, really, really prominent. You go to guess, that's what you all do. Get married to a rich man just to gain from his wealth. All right, what if he would have tasted your love? What if he told you to accept a prenuptial agreement? Would you have accepted it? With the prenup clause, I wouldn't have married him. Marriage is for two people who trust each other and decided to get married. As for you, I will no longer tolerate your insults. Or what? Am I supposed to be scared? Huh? 
Listen, you have been married to my father for two years now. I have an advice for you. Stick to being his wife. And stop playing mommy in my life because you are not even close. Get out of my room. You disgust me. Darling, you're supposed to share good news with Shannis today. Hmm. Thanks, Sweetie. Thanks for the reminder. Shannis, we have concluded talks about your marriage. So you will be meeting Harry Obi tomorrow. We've also finalized everything concerning your engagement. Wow. And my stepmother is sounding like the best thing is about to happen to me. <sighs> Father, I'm supposed to get married to the one I love and one who makes me happy. Doesn't it matter to you? <coughs> love and happiness, they're just an illusion into this world. You see, success, money, power. These are the forces that bring love and happiness. Yes, Father. But I, I thought things maybe have changed a little bit. Considering my stepmother who claimed she married you for love. If she can have a love marriage, why can't I have one too? This is the least you can do for your father. Who has you invested so much by sending you to the best schools all around the world. God, I've had this all my life, Father. So, I guess this makes us even. I'm meant to get married to this man. And automatically, everything you've invested in me is paid for. Considering I am your life's biggest project. Shams. God, this is not what this is all about. Please. You don't include yourself in discussion between family. She is family. And I demand that you show her some respect. Now, you will meet Harry tomorrow, make an impression, and be ready to be married. That is final. Enjoy your meal, Dad. Shannis! 
What's wrong with getting married? She doesn't have a choice. Isn't this the part you're supposed to apologize for keeping me waiting? Didn't your mother teach you it's alright to wait for a woman? And be glad she finally showed up. Come on, stop whining like a little girl and let's get done with this. The rumors are true. You're the uncouth brat. What makes your father think you can get a woman like you married? And what gives you the right to think you can pass judgment on me? You are as cold as ice. You treat everything and everyone around you as if they were a challenge. I detest men like you because you're just like my father. And you are nothing like my mother. And you can never be. I detest women like you. I'm sure you know most men love to marry women that are just like their mothers. Okay, very well then. I think we've both said what should be said. So I should take my leave now. It's just been a few minutes ago and you already want to leave. Wow, what a bitch. <laughs> After making me wait here for an hour. What is this? Are you feeling victimized? You should be glad that the girl who's nothing close to your mother is leaving finally. Wait. Don't tell me you're beginning to miss me. Dad, how is the United States? Angry, beast. I, I feel like breaking things. Her attitude is so monstrous that I, I couldn't even see her beauty. Um, can't we find some other person for this alliance? Because marrying Shanice is such a bad idea. She would never make a good wife. So, what are you saying? I'll just try, but if I cannot take her disrespect anymore, I'm going to quit. Yeah, so how did it work? I hope you liked you and want to meet you again. Father, 
This is the first time you're expressing concern in matters that concerns me. Why is that? <laughs> because this alliance means so much to me. You know something, my dear? If you marry Harry, you will become the daughter-in-law of that family. That automatically makes you a shareholder in the organization. Then, you will use your influence to take them down and I will become the only surviving giant in the hospitality industry. <laughs> Father, did you do your research well? Do you think daughters are the best tool to use? Because I could fall in love with my husband and decide to protect him against you and the world. What then do you do? You don't seem to know that Harry belongs to our own world. All his decisions we certainly be based on money and not love. Ever again, if you decide to fall in love with him, well, it will be your own loss because you will side with the enemy against your father that is doing everything for you because you are his only child. No, father, you are doing this for yourself. I never asked. No, that's true. The truth is that every father does not want to be asked before he does anything for his child. Okay? Uh, you see, everything that I have will be yours eventually. Just do this one thing for your father, okay? Fine, I'll do it. But, Father, Harry, he's looking for a woman that looks like his mother. He told me personally that I look nothing close to his mother. Coming from a man who's supposed to be making huge business decisions. Isn't it, Father? Don't worry, you know. Everything will take care of itself, okay? It's okay. For so many reasons you trivialize the rich man The queen is back. Shadness. <laughs> Shadness. What's going on? Just when I am hopeful that you will get better, you slip further into a web of disgrace. Look at you. <laughs> Father, oh, this is the day to be so proud of your daughter. Uh, I mean, I just secured billions of Naira contracts with an international corporation, Father. I made you lots of money. I mean, you needed to see me today. I was so brilliant. I, I didn't know I could. <laughs> oh, I, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. I heard about it. I heard about it. But the moment you stepped into this house, drunk and almost wasted, the joy and pride dissipated. Uh, yes. Don't I don't I deserve a pat a pat on the back? You know, like well done, my daughter. You've done well. I'm so proud of you. You know, please. Things like that. But no. All I get, all I get is a, a kick on the pot every single time. Why? Daddy, why me? Why me? Charles. You can the pat on the back when you leap up to it. When will you realize that you're the Face of your father's company. His heirs. And everyone is looking up to you. Don't tell me. Don't tell me anything. Keep quiet. I will not listen to your lecture until you make money for my father. I won't listen to any single thing you have to say. Oh. Shut 
quiet. Ah. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Daddy. I'm so sorry for for making you so much money and drowning myself in the joy of alcohol. I'm, I'm so sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. <laughs> you needed to think I was brilliant. I was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Um, something must be done about this. <laughs> Listen, young lady, I, I don't even like to call you. But for some reasons, my parents insist I, I, I see you again. Enough! You, you have said a lot already, and I know why you're doing this. I know you don't like this arrangement and you cannot walk away. So you try to be a bitch just to scare me away. But listen, it is not working. I don't even care. Just meet me at Golden Avenue by in two hours. And remember, you owe this to your father, and I owe no one nothing. Thomas, I know my daughter. She must have gone to that place to see Harry, to show him what a disappointment it will be to marry someone like her. I'm so scared. Because <clears throat> Shanice will burn everything to the ground. I know that she hates me and will do anything to punish me. <clears throat> if you're overthinking this, you're overthinking this. As much as Chinese is aware that you did not give her much love at the demise of her mother, I want you to know that she's very much aware that you worked so hard. You went very hard to give her the best of education and luxury in life. She's also aware that she has no other father beside you here on earth. She's your daughter. She will never fail you. Chinese can never ever feel you. Have some faith. Anyway, let's forget about my daughter for now. I know you must be considering retirement. It is of course to be expected because you won't be working forever. Consider this your last assignment and I will make sure that you're very rich for retirement. But you do one thing for me. Just make sure that Shanice marries Harry and gets her place in their company. Then I will give you 20% shares in our company. <laughs> Chief, this is this is what the Englishman call it, Gangatwan of offer. <laughs> it's it's massive, it's huge. Consider it done, Chief. Consider it done. <laughs> no problem. Cheers. <laughs> what does she look like? She beautiful, smart, and curvy. 
She might make a good bedmate, but certainly not a life partner. She's so rude and disrespectful. Her attitude nauseates me, and rumor has it that she's always attracting negative news. But her father says to me that those kind of news doesn't see the light of the day. <laughs> you do not say anything good about her. Is she that bad? Bad. <laughs> bad is an understatement. She's horrible. Horrible. Then why are you still meeting her? Because my parents want me to. They think I was impatient. And I really hate it when someone sees me at not being patient. They said I should just keep seeing her, that maybe one of these days she'd come around with a positive energy. But you do not cheer in that hope, I guess. Why are you so serious? You that I know don't believe in love or marriage. All you know is money and business deal. This is a difficult business deal. You have to do with it. Well, what I mean is, this marriage is a business deal. So you have to handle it and close the deal. I think you're right. I, I don't have to care about whatever she's doing. She might decide to go to the club, do whatever she wants. I should be more focused on closing this deal and moving on. <laughs> That's my guy. Eyes on the bag. Hello, stepmother. Can I have my food now? Or do you want to be one of those stepmothers, the vicious ones, who maltreats your stepchildren? You're such a piece of work. And you don't know it. How can your father's wife maltreat you? If you're hungry, you're big enough to fix yourself something to eat. <laughs> Why will I do that? Besides my father, I work. And I make this family very rich. Besides cooking, cleaning, washing, and having sex with my father, what else do you do? So please, you will cook and serve me. That's the duty of the housewife. As much as your words are degrading, I'll have consolation in the fact that you are about to get married yourself. Then, just then you cook, clean, wash, have sex with your husband, considering it the only duty of a housewife. Oh, please cut that out. We are different. My future husband knows that. I am a working woman, the heiress to fortune industry. <laughs> I mean, how can you confine such a powerful woman to domesticity? Only a gold digging housewife like you deserves such treatment. Now get me my food. If you ever speak to me in such manner again, the only food you will get is a hot slap. Now, go get your pathetic self some food to eat.
Um, I wanted to speak to you. Make it brief. You can see I'm on my way out. Oh. You are not asking me to come inside. Huh? You must be pissed with anyone connected to Chinese. Do I need to remind you that Shanice is a very bad person? Because that's like telling you something you already know. Um, Harry, Shanice has a tongue as tough as a man, but she has a very tender heart. See, that horrible young lady, this shit of she is too dangerous. She craves for love and never receives. Her father thinks acquiring wealth and giving it to his child is the best legacy a father can leave behind. The Chinese thinks otherwise. She wanted to be loved. She wanted to be acknowledged. She walks around the clock. She was very hurt, but she becomes lonely when one one acknowledges all her efforts. The only one person she tries to impress is too busy acquiring wealth and power to notice a subtle cry for attention from his daughter. Mr. Thomas, why are you telling me all this? I cannot be her father, so I can't give her all the love she desires. Um, Mr. Harry, you, you completely misconstrued my statement. I'm not asking you to be her father. I'm only asking you to be patient with her and try to understand her. Mr. Thomas, you seem to be forgetting a minor detail. This marriage, it's only a business arrangement. A marriage of convenience. Whatever Shanice is doing with her personal life is none of my business. And even if I try to be human around her, she will show how monstrous she is. And I don't want to feel weak before her. Mr. Thomas, if you're actually here to convince me that marrying Chenis is not as bad as it looks, then it is really worse than it looks. Think about tomorrow. I pray that it be better than today and not yesterday. I hope you've seen what you've done. Yeah. I hope you've seen what you've done. Great and bad can't have the keys. I'm no longer three that you have to confine me in this house to prevent me from going to the neighbors. Please, I, I'm running late and I need to... Controlling you was so much easier then. But now, you think you can do as you like because you're an adult. Forgetting that you are the future, the face of Fortune Hotels and Resorts. I mean, very soon, the employees and shareholders will be relying on you for survival. But how can they rely on you if you continue to be a regular mess? Oh, come on, Shadis. We're so close to everything. But you are in the way of everything we have worked so hard for. No. No, 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 no. I have to stop you. I must stop you. Daddy, please, you, you just have to calm down, okay? Please, I need to go out. I'm running late. I have an important meeting to catch, Dad. I promise you, when I get back, we'll discuss about it. Please. <laughs> you can't tell that to the monkeys. <laughs> How can we talk when you always return home drunk? Now, for instance, yesterday, you made Harry see you in that distasteful state. Now, he's trying to talk his parents out of 
the alliance. But I had to put the blame on myself just to make sure that they do not pull out of the whole thing. You know. I'm sorry. This marriage must be concluded. I would allow to make a spectacle of yourself. This is not the way to go about this, all right? I, I am no longer three that you have to confine me into the house, that you, you're disrespecting me, that I, I need the keys, that you, I'm, I'm, no, I'm no longer three that you have to lock me into the house. Please, Daddy, please, Dad, Dad, just let me have the keys. I need to go out of my place. That's my daughter. Oh, Is she Alex. okay? Chief Alex. I'm so sorry. Doctor. Well, actually, I administered some drip on her and returned to run some tests. But unfortunately, she's nowhere to be found. What are you saying? This has been her plan all along. She wanted to leave the house, so she fake this. What is this girl becoming? I never knew she would go this far at all. What mess is she trying to create now that's failed illness just to get freedom? You know, that was go after her and bring her back before she does for her damage. That clear. Go now. 
Chief, I'm so sorry. I have something to attend to right now, please. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I trust him. We'll find her. I'm right behind Chinese. What? No, no, no. What happened is that she left the hospital on notice. She disguised herself as a nurse and left the hospital. Yes. No cause for alarm. This way, too. Take your left. Okay, so no, no cause for alarm. No cause for alarm. No cause for alarm. No cause for alarm. Left, 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 left. left. I saw you wearing those costumes. You don't, you don't take professor. It's a long story. Just take this as a bit away costume. Meanwhile, please, you have something very strong for me. I'm I... passing through loads of stress. Ah, I didn't make one less to me when I listen. Again, matter said they enter town. Mm. I'll leave the usual again, but that next tomorrow, I'm getting a call loud and wide. Really? If you take that one, cloud nine. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, fine. I'm going to do you a transfer, okay? Uh, yes. Once it's in, well, I don't have any cash. Once it's in, please call me. Please. Well, oh, now, do you have any room? I usually, I usually do. Just, just let me have it, please. It's over here, the matter. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here comes the lady that pulled the most historic hospital break. When someone's child becomes an adult, it feels easy for the parents. But your case is different. Father, please, I I know you're you're mad at me, but the truth is, I I was choking. I I just couldn't stay there. I needed to grab some fresh air, and if I wouldn't have gone there, it would have. Janice, you completely disregarded me. How else should I tell you that? All I do is for this family. 
when you pulled that stunt. You made me feel somehow at the hospital. Am I such a terrible father? Is that how you feel about me? I don't know. I, I, I couldn't stay there. I, I couldn't stay there. I, I just feel so pressured. And um, the, the way you want me to live my life, your expectations on how you want me to live and live is, is draining me. I'm, I'm just feeling too pressured. Your handsets and car keys will be confiscated for now. And unless Thomas takes you, you won't go anywhere. You won't. I will pick your calls and determine the ones you will respond to physically. You, you, you just can't do that to me. I'm, I'm, I'm not a teenager, Dad. I, I'm not. They prove to me that you're not a teenager. I won't have you destroy all that I have built. I won't. Shannon, I won't. Please, please. Oh, please, this is... Look at my stones. I'm sorry, Dad, but you... You told me, my... You, you, you can't do that to a <laughs> so good talking with you. You know, oh yes, oh yes. Of course, I know everything will be okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Talk to you soon. All right. Uh, Rashid, you are in a good mood. Ah. What's, what's happening? <laughs> yeah. That was a call with my potential illness. They are happy about the prospect of a marriage alliance. You don't say it. That's good. So close. Yes, and soon and very soon, we would take down the competition. If only Shannon's will continue to behave herself. We can't imagine <laughs> how well we will be. You don't see, well, Shannon knows how important her role is in securing the future of this company. Right? Yeah, so she will do all that is expected of her. You know, just okay. show her that you trust and rely on her. She... Yeah, well, I've always told her about countless times, you know, so. Um, yes, um, I said, no, this time around, just, you should, should show her. Okay. Yes. I won't stop. <laughs> Let me call. Let me okay. try another call. Yeah. yeah. What are you doing here? So you can speak. Why has your father been taking all your calls? What excuse did my father give you about me? I am more interested in your own excuse. I'm not explaining anything to you. Why are you here? Huh? Wait. Could it be you? You like me, maybe just a little bit. Wait, don't tell me my father sent you here. Exactly. <sighs> Your father called and asked me to break the bad news. The bad news is our engagement is in a month. And the good news is this merger is going to make each of us richer and peaceful. I see no one consults my opinion. I mean, I'm the one getting married, right? Does my opinion not count? Maybe you should ask your father. I've done what they asked me to do, so I'll take my leave. I bet you can't wait to leave, mommy's boy. Do I scare you that much? No. You disgust me. And I must tell you, you have to get cleaned up and behave sane before the official engagement announcement is made. Else I'm going to call this off. And you know what you'll be remembered for? A girl 
that was dumped by me. Well, tell that to the girl that cares. You and I know that you are the sucker for reputation, not me. And I warn you, never try to threaten me again, all right? Now get out. Get out, mommy's boy. Oh, I want to be left alone. I'll, I'll just next, sit next to you and uh, be quiet. My father must have been disappointed when I was born a girl. I just... I just wish she can... call me princess. With love and care. But no. He has never pampered me. He has always pushed me too hard. When I was little, I was made to understand that my marriage would be the biggest deal I would ever get to close. Sad, right? Do you wonder why your father sent you to one of the most expensive schools? Or do you think your father is one who makes careless investments? Now, compared to a project right now, your father invests only in things he finds beneficial. As a little girl, your father saw you deliver a speech that made the first lady lodge in the Fortuna Hotel. And he was so proud of you. He said he had, you know, discovered his most prized project. I'll give you an all to make sure you succeed in life. Your, your father never considered you a mistake because you were born a girl. Rather, he wants to achieve far greater things with you as his heirs than those who have heirs. And that's why he put it so hard to make sure you live above the weakness and feelings of self. But I'm trying. I'm really trying my best. I've never known what it means to be a woman or to use my feminism as an advantage. I hate Harry. I hate marriage. Now I'm meant to do all this, not for myself, but because of my father. <sighs> and for me, Charles. And for me. Yes. Your father promised a huge amount of money to me. He promised to reward me hugely if this marriage ever works. And he'll give me a large chunk of shareholder and in the company if I retire. Please, Charlie, do it for us. Do it, please. Do it for us. Do it so that I can retire a, a big man. Please. Um, Daniel, can you send me the files? Just send it to this number. Are you stupid? What are you doing here? Huh? Who told you that you will be able to find me here? What are you doing in my room? Your stepmother did. What was I supposed to do? Say no when she graciously led me here? Oh, my stepmother has used you, stupid. She used you to get me upset. And now you have to pay the consequences. Get out. Stop, get out! Stop, stop, stop. I am not here for you, you fight. And besides, I don't like that tone. Well, I am not your employee, okay? I am soon to be your partner, and when I say partner, I mean partners in life and business. You don't expect me to bow down to you, do you? You're just the worst. How can you be rude and disrespectful at the same time? Well, that makes the both of us, okay? What are you doing here, huh? 
Wait, were you expecting to see me naked? That's why you ran up to my room, Perf. Right? Don't flatter yourself, okay? You're not my type. I see coming here is a bad idea. I'll just wait to see you on the engagement day. Wait, I I need your help. I need to leave this place. It's choking me. Oh, I see. Your dad locked you off. Hmm? That explains that he still grounds you at this age. I'm supposed to marry you. An adult child. <laughs> Why do you even think I, I'm going to help you? Because I asked nicely. You should try to be nice for once, jerk. You call this asking nicely. Help yourself then. Okay, wait! Fine. Um, I need your, your help. And I will give you whatever you ask for in return. That's if you are able to take me out of this hellhole. Please. Please. Why would you even want to dress up for a guy I know you hate so much? <laughs> okay, do you wish to dress up and go out with Harry instead? Well, I don't think you've done a background check on him. He is twice richer than my father. I mean, he is stinkingly rich. God! My bad, you don't have to go all the way to the internet to browse. You know one thing with gold diggers like you? You all smell wealth like dog smell. Wow. You don't waste time to taunt and call me names. Marrying your father must have pissed you off so bad. I'm sorry. There's nothing you can do about it. I am here to stay. <laughs> of course you are here to stay. Where would you rather be when you have the gold mine? Hmm? Oh well, I'm here to tell you that I'm aware you are pretending to go on a date to escape lockdown. While you are there doing it, I'd like you to be of good behavior. I would not stand to watch you kill my husband, your father, before his time. I can see you have nothing doing. That's why you've turned into a monitoring spirit. The only danger to my father is you. Because you married him for his money. Disgusting. You can say whatever. I've got my eyes on you. Spoiled rat. Nonsense. Wow! Wow! <laughs> My daughter is looking gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Excuse me. Sure. Simone, for all I know, you could be playing me. Yes. But if you screw this up this time, lockdown will be the smallest punishment you'll get from her. Father, what has happened to us? Imagine the way you're threatening me. Don't you have any faith in me anymore? Are you looking forward to me screwing up? You have left me no choice. I mean, you always keep me on my toes. Shanis, so much is at stake. You must marry Harry. You must and take them down. But if you mess this up, how are you going to achieve it? All I ask is a little faith in me. Just a little and trust me, it will take me a very long way. I'll make sure I'll get all your heart desires. Please. 
Okay, let's go. Yeah, Javi. So, Javi, well, I'm leaving to have with you. Take good care of her, okay? Sure, I will. You have nothing to worry about. Thank you. All right, sir. Is it word? Is it not? Oh, yeah. Cause every man has got a right under. I think about it yesterday. Mm -hmm, mm, yeah. What is it all about? All the money and power. Sacrificing what is permanent in search of what is not. I hope you're happy now. Looking back on your life. Isn't it time we see it back in the day? Um, can you please stop the car? I just want to stop here. Thank you so much for saving me out of that dump. Stop here, please. What do you mean? Harry, I said stop here. No, listen. I promised your father that we are going on a date. Wait, I just told my father that so that we, I can get out of the house. Wait, don't tell me you believe me. You and I know that we can't even stand each other. Please, just stop me here. I need to go. What, what are you even thinking? That I'm excited I'm going out with you? No, I just rescued you and you promised to go on a date with me. And I told your father that I'm not going to let you out of my sight, so I won't. Why do you care? I'm going to cause a scene here. Stop me now! I said stop! Thief! Kidnapper, you want to take me out! Stop me here! What's wrong with you? Are you crazy? Are you mad? Are you mad? Get out! <laughs> Broad daylight drinking. This is serious. Come on, this is so serious. So what's going on? That girl. She's crazy. In fact, she belongs to a mental home. There is only one woman who can make you go crazy so much. What did she nice did to you this time around? Can you imagine? This silly girl tricked me. She used me. She said I should um, help her escape the lockdown in her house. And I obliged. She said she was going to go on a date with me. And on her way, she started screaming. She said she was going to jump out of the car if I don't stop her. I just had to stop her. This is intense, my friend. You have every power to walk away from this alliance. Why are you still holding on? Why? Curiosity. You know, Chief Alex has been the one secretly stealing ideas from our family. He has even stolen some of our clients. Still, he's not satisfied. Then, um, he made this. Um, Proposition of a merger through marriage alliance. <laughs> I was surprised and I wanted to know what he's planning. He's even planning to trade his daughter just to achieve what he wants. But well, what do you think he wants? The same thing. Every greedy businessman wants to take out his competition. Um, but I, I don't know how he intends to do that. I'm curious. Hmm. 
All the money you brought Sacrificing what is permanent In search of what is not I hope you're happy now Looking back on Ah, I've been waiting. Yeah? Yeah. You look very hot today. You're in front of they go again. You know the metamorphose, they change. Change. This is not a time for so many questions. What about the loud and bite you talked loud about? Loud and wide. Yes. Cloud nine matters. He's here? Mm. We can't stay, we can't stay, we can't stay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Please, uh, loud and wide. You'll be better than us. Your details, your details. <laughs> oh my god, fine, 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 fine. Done. Thank you. That's how I get money. That's how I get money for toasty, but anyway, everyone good, sir. Everyone good. It's all right. Thank you. All right, that's one, that's one. All right. So if I get money for toasty, you used to do come aside, you do not go. Don't tell us how far. Guy, look. I had even know. Hello, sir. Hello, sir, chief. Hurry. Yeah, I go to Chinese on time. Is she okay? Did she cause any trouble today? I'm not really. Uh, no, but actually, she went straight to the hotel and it turned out that she's meeting with some investors. And um, she'll be lodging for a few days. Have you confirmed it? Are you sure it's not one of our ploys to freely make a nuisance of herself? Yes, sir, I confirmed it. She's okay. I, I promise I'm keeping my eyes on her. That's a relief. Please, make sure she's in her best behavior. The engagement has been released to the media and I don't want Chinese creating more scandals. Or it will affect my company's reputation, considering we're about being associated with her. Oh, Chinese will be here. She knows what is at stake. Oh, don't you worry, Harry. Nothing will ever go wrong. I promise. Very good okay. Tell me. Well, what is going on? It appears Bobby Shannon's up these few days. Fixed her. Oh. Yes. As we speak, she is in the hotel attending to some investors. <laughs> but that doesn't explain why she escaped using Harry. She never said she was going to handle business. She said she was going on a date. Really, I find this hard to believe. Ah, oh, you think Seth almost lied to me? So do you think she's probably messing herself up and Seth almost is coming up for her? I don't want to believe that, darling, because Thomas is Loyalty is with you, and not your daughter. Candice! Candice! Candice!
I managed to convince her to go for rehab. The rehab center is at the outskirts of the town. Rehab? Yes, Certainly. What happened? Actually, I... I met her high after the meeting, so I locked her in the hotel room so that she can recover herself. When she was clear-headed, I threatened if she wouldn't go for rehab or, uh, and treat herself for that addiction. I, I was going to tell you the truth. And, be forced to look up again. And you did that alone? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Chief. I, I kept you in the dark. I know how straight you get when you hear that chance is high. So I had to do it alone. You know, and only show you the positive outcome. Well, thank you, Thomas. You have performed a miracle. Because Shannon's never accepted she had problems. Uh, that talk of talking about uh, you know getting fixed but you have done something great but I will reward you greatly for giving me hope this day thank you thank you no, it's okay um, so what, what's the next assignment okay okay Mr. Thomas, you seem distracted. Yes, I'm fine, ma'am. You were saying something. How did you manage to convince Shanis to go for rehab? What did you say to her? Just threats, ma'am. I guess you and Chief did most of the work. The fear of being locked up did the magic. Of course, she's ready to be anywhere except being locked up in this house. We've been trying to reach her, but we couldn't. How do you communicate with her? Oh. Possibility is very slim, madam. They do not have access to phone. Because if they do, they'll browse about that particular substance that makes them crave for it. Oh, I see. You're right, though. I pray she gets fixed and married soon. Madam, Chinese is lucky to have someone like you who genuinely worries for her. Oh, she'll be fine. We'll get all we want. I'll make that happen. I miss my Chinese. She'll be fine. 
Ouais. You should have something to drink. Oh, no, 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 no. You sure? Yes, I'm fine. Is everything okay? Yes, everything is fine. I have been trying to call Shanice, but I haven't been able to get through to her. Is she okay? Oh, yes, she should be. Yes, she is. I think so. Um, you know, I was managed to convince her to get cleaned and fixed. And she miraculously agreed. You know, but um, she's, I think she's fine, huh? Yeah? But is it something urgent? Yes, um, a media company um, reached out and they would want to have an exclusive interview on us. And I consider it a good awareness and also a good marketing move for the both companies. Very true. That's a very nice one. It's a very good promotional strategy. And uh, I think uh, it would be good for Shams to be there. At least, you know. Shadows will be in the news for something good, you know, for something positive. <laughs> in any case, just tell them she's out for medical checkup. Uh, that should be fine. And uh, so don't call it off. Yeah. All right, I'll do that. Please have her call me once she's back, okay? Yes, she will. She will. I'll tell her. Okay, I'll take my leave now. Okay. All right, sir. I'll have a moment. Certified clean or not, I want her back home. She don't want her but I don't have chicken. I don't mind. My daughter was never convinced she was sick and needed help. Why must we allow her to think that way now? Why? But Chip, why the sudden change of mind? Everyone is talking about the wedding. Journalists are begging for interviews. We must take advantage of this moment and have Shannis put the name of our company on every lip. She can't do that when she's locked up somewhere. I want her back home. I want her. But Chip, I, I don't think they will release her now. I mean, we signed a form to you. Damn protocol! Look, if you cannot do your job, I'll do it for you. Nobody will deny a father, his daughter. Nobody! <coughs> Sorry, Chief. I don't have to do it. Please consider them. Better! Nonsense. Been through it so many times and survived it. Okay. I have a smart watch. I couldn't say what I'm about to say on phone because I needed to show the channels with your right. What is wrong with her? Channis overdosed herself with very little truck. And she has a severe heart complications. As I speak to you, 
She's in the hospital awaiting her transplant. That's transplant? transplant? What? Huh? I thought you had your eyes on her. Huh? So my daughter is battling for her life. Where were you? Where? I'm sorry, Chief. I failed you. Please punish me. Just pray that nothing happens to my daughter. Else, we will not find words to ask for punishment. Darling, there's no time for that now. We need to rush immediately to see her. She needs help more than ever now. Please. Let's, let's go. Okay, let me get my back. Her parents graciously donated her heart to your daughter. In fact, if not for their generosity, your daughter will be dead. That's some relief. That means she's going to be okay, right? She'll be fine. She'll be fine. Um, the, the heart transplant was successful. And like I said, your daughter will be fine. As long as her system doesn't reject the organ, she's going to be just fine. Oh, what a relief. I'll go to church and pray for her perfect healing. I never knew Shanice was deep into her drugs. How did I miss this? It's okay, it's okay. Don't be too hard on yourself. It's much easier to keep tabs on a child, not an adult, okay? Well, at least she's going to be fine. Yes. Uh, Thomas, yes, sir. you must track her dealer yes, and sir. make sure he's locked up. Yes, sir. He almost cost me the life of my only child. Yes. Huh? Thank you, Doctor. Uh, I'll go as instructed. Okay. Uh, doctor, when do you see her? Presently, we are keeping a close watch on her. And, um... How is she? Is she going to be okay? Yes. She just had a heart transplant. And it was a success. Heart transplant? That, that is very critical. Has she previously suffered from any heart-related ailments? She had gone in once and twice for heart treatment. But we never considered it life-threatening. That's what we have said. It needs to be, it needs to be closed down. How can someone that was left under your care overdose while trying to get cleansed from drugs? No, they need to be put out of business. Harry, I understand how angry you are. But you see, we can't afford negative press right now. Because they're not going to focus on the incompetence and negligence of the rehab center. They will focus on the fact that Chinese had herself overdosed and considered it suicide. That's right. Um, so, can we see her now? Yeah, very so much. She, she'll be fine and everything will proceed as planned. Okay, so, so we have to shift the engagement um, dates then? We could actually skip the engagement and proceed with the marriage once she fully recovers. What do you think? Sir Thomas, yes, doctor. why didn't you tell me that this was all about Chief Alex's daughter? That man is very ruthless. And you know, I don't want to be caught up in this. Mm -mm. Relax, doctor. I'm in charge here, okay? I'm doing everything for Chief Alex. If he finds out what happened to his daughter, he will be devastated. Meanwhile, two million is your account already. I have received it. But you still have to control it. I don't want people to come asking questions. Esther will lose my medical license. Doctor, I cannot stop them from asking questions that are medical. Just be prepared to answer such questions from them. Okay? Now tell me, Doctor. If they ask to meet the family of the woman, what would you tell them? I'll just tell them it was an anonymous donation. Very well then. Very well then. Very, very good. Just calmly respond, okay? You have it all together. I promise to compensate you the more. Okay. I'll leave now. 
But meanwhile, what transpired between you and I should be kept a secret. This is what is best for everyone. It's okay. But please, be careful. Be very careful. Excuse me. Okay. Just fixed her heart. Yes, ma'am. Maybe something is wrong with her brain. She never acknowledges me as her stepmother. Come to speak of calling me mama. Doctor, something is definitely wrong somewhere. You called her enough, I just had a heart transplant. And personality changes after such surgeries. It's normal. There are cases in the past of recipients acquiring the personality characteristics of the donor. These changes are in the areas of emotions, temperament, identity modifications, and preferences and memories of the donor. In simple English, are you telling us that we're going to have different channels from the one we are used to. Yes, it is possible. But I believe our brain and heart will work together and everything will be fine. I don't think there should be any cause for alarm. Thank you. My doctor, you must be going through a lot now. I don't need to know where we are. Doctor, now, how do we manage the crisis? I mean, identity crisis. Just give her all the love that she needs. That's all that she requires. All the love. Thank you. He's got money, he's got power, he's got everything. What could he be looking for? He's got everything, yet he's not satisfied. Poor man is seeking for survival. What a rich man. You mean you can't remember staying in this house? Eh? You grew up here all your life. Really? Yes, yes. What, what's with her local accent? She doesn't sound like our well schooled Shannes. Madam, sorry you, eh? But eh, I don't know how I've been the talk. What the doctor say after everything goes settled? Remember the doctor one more the changes and the emergence of a new personality, so let's keep our fingers crossed and keep it tight. <laughs> Since Shannon cannot remember everything about this house, I will help her get familiar with this place speedily. 
you know? Sure. So please uh, take her to her room and let her rest. <laughs> it's so good, huh? Yeah. Shavis is back. Yes. Wow. This will help us get closer to our desired goal. <laughs> Hi, my name is Harry, your husband to be. Me, wife to be, Chinese. I know that. I am not the one going through personality crisis. Well, I came here to tell you that our engagement is in three days. I hope you're well enough for it. Yeah. 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 You, you know, if you ask me if, if, if I find to marry you, you see how you, you, you just they talk to me. Uh uh. You'd be like saying no love surrounding us. So. Uh uh. No, no voice of lovey lovey. Nothing, nothing. Why is we like that now? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Who did this to you? The almighty, sophisticated Shanice now sounds like a local champion. <laughs> what kind of heart did you receive? I need to meet the, the family of your donor. At least let me get acquainted. Because I'll be living with you. Wait now. Why is you being not nice? Why is you being not nice now? Why are you laughing me? Eh? Ha! Don't be you a pocket ball. Well, marrying you won't be such a bad thing anymore. Because I I look forward to the comedy show every day. It's in three days, so be ready. Ready, what? Eh? Hi! How this one will be becoming my husband now? Wow, no loving, loving, nothing. My own will come day different. Which, which kind of husband be this one? Uh uh. Will they fight? See, we will marry you now. <laughs> he's got money, he's got power, he's got everything. What could he be looking for? He's got everything, yet he's not satisfied. Poor man is seeking for survival. What a rich man is looking for exaltation. And under the pressure of formation, the beast you have murdered is running the world now. <laughs> Papa Nama, hey, I know say it will shock you, say the food, Yaba. You know, since uh, my brain don't scatter, I know I be the type of food that they like chop. So I say make I cook every, 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 every day here. I say make I cook them. As you come here now, every, every day. Gario, soup, rice, so, stew, in the banana, everything day here. So anyone will not be like chop food day. I don't cook. Who are you? What have you done to our shyness? There's no way on earth. Shanice cooks. She doesn't know how. She hates to cook. So what is going on here? Are you the real Shanice? Hey. Are you saying myself now? Not me. And I, I did like cook. I did like cook. Where, where, where? No, even go there. I did like cook. 
Papa, come and eat too. Food don't be ready. Hey, come chop. Food don't be. Ha, you go like this one. <laughs> so, Charles. Papa. Relax. You see, next time, make sure you ask us what we're going to take before you cook anything. No shaking. Now, what are we going to do with this whole thing? Mm -hmm. Wow, problem no day. Papa, Mama, Biko, make me that chop the one way you could feed chop. You see anyone when I remain, I go clear up. No go there, I go clear up. Watch now. I'm going to sit down. Which one I go? I think I start with this. Now this soup, my eye will choke. Hey! You see, I like the way I cook the. Ah! You can look over there. But one thing is very much like that. This is Mm. If you see the place for inside market, why go buy this liver? Eh? You know, say they like liver. Mmm. 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 Forget how they cook. Forget how they cook. Leave that one for me. Top one, top two. You know you can say it. I know you have a lot on your mind. Let it out. Sure. It feels like Shannon's died in that hospital. Someone else came to the house with us. She is our Shannon. The only difference is the personality change. The new Shannon is free from drug and alcohol. Which is what we need to finalize the marriage of us. Yeah, you're right. It hurts to see a local peasant in my daughter. Look, Shannon's schooled abroad, made a first class. But to think that she's now sounding like someone that never saw the four walls in a classroom. I don't understand. I understand your concerns, darling. You have to be patient. Remember the doctor said we need to give her time. With time she'll return back to her old self. All she needs from us now is our support and care to speak about the new development. Right? I don't know. I don't know what to think. I don't know. It's just No, well, you should be fine. Really? Can we go and sleep now? What are you doing here? I see me I bring you food. What are you up to? You're bringing me food. Isn't that what real wives do? Ha. Hey, what's in be the bad thing I do? Say so I bring my my soon to be husband food. That's my 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 bring you food. We go soon be man and wife. Eh? Why you they talk as if we be enemies? We were never friends. We hated each other. This personality crisis thing is really messing with me because. I have already made up my mind that we're going to be business partners and not real life partners. So, why are you trying too hard? Why are you bringing me food? Why are you trying to get to me through my stomach? Ha! Listen, the old you was fun because you kept me on my toes. So, why are you doing all this now? Hmm. Okay, eh? if I tell you, say I understand everything when you talk, now big liar, they tell. Ah, ah! I see me, 
I bring you food, you come they talk many, many talks. Now, because of the food where I bring, I don't understand what you they talk. Anyway, I know say you'll be a busy person. You know, go feel chop them this morning, maybe. If you don't go feel chop them, no problem. Me, I like cook. Now, why I bring them? So, if you don't want chop them, if you don't want cook, or if you don't want chop, you leave them. I don't do my own. Which one be best for your so one? What happened to her? She's no longer a bitch. No. No, 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 no. I must not be carried away. I must remain focused and uncover the, the real motive behind this alliance. But what if... What if she can actually cook? Looking back at what we've done over the years Is it worth it? Is it not? <laughs> yeah, this is good. I, look, I can't wait to see you. <laughs> All right, I've expected you. Yeah. But just make sure you call me again before your arrival. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Bye. <laughs> Those are my future in laws of the pool. <laughs> they have decided to come down to Nigeria. Apparently, Harry is moving things forward. You know, he has decided to forget the engagement to be married to my daughter. <laughs> yeah. A few months ago, he was procrastinating the engagement and suddenly, now he wants to be married. Don't you smell a rat, darling? You no, know, he's in love. He's in love. <laughs> it's love. <laughs> Mom is right, sir. Shouldn't we ask her how it went meeting a few days ago? What they talked about. Okay, let's find out from her. Let's hear from her. Eh? More? Yeah. Okay. So, that's why I cook for her more. He come ask me, he say, she you they wine me. I say, why go they wine you? You be more where I won't marry. I go cook for you now. He come take me to one book, a way course, way, way. Now that place, everything don't finish. Hey! We talk, 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 oh. laugh, 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 eh? Hey! You can't be like, say, we know we say bye bye. Last, last, we say bye bye to each other. Now, so it happened. You see? Did you hear that? Yeah? This so cool honey has fallen for my new local daughter. <laughs> she has cracked his heart, his stone heart, and melted his defense. You know? Now, he is anxious. He cannot wait anymore to get married to my daughter. He cannot wait to get married to my daughter. <laughs> Thomas, can you see that? Uh, Sadness has done it. Sadness, you have done it. <laughs> now, it is time to take it all. Okay? Yes. So stand by. Let's get ready. We are going to host a marriage in three days. We're going to be hosting the creme de la creme of the society. I mean, the wealthy and the rich. Are you sure? <laughs> Stand by. <laughs> Thank you, Charis. This is what I'm going to say. Why are you marrying me, Sharp Sharp?
You said it's a wife's duty to protect the husband. Marrying you is a risk. For all I know, you could be saying the right things and doing the right things just to win my trust. When I least expect you strike. If you talk, say you did fear. Since you did fear, why you come go ahead, marry me? My life is now in your hands. If you choose to burn me and anything goes wrong, you will bear the consequences. Remember, we are now Mr. and Mrs. Hyde. If I go down, you go down as well. You know what? Let's go. Go on, freshen up. I'll book us a nice and beautiful suite for our honeymoon. You say what you've done Great and bad Can make you feel invincible Make you feel invincible Make you feel untouchable Why you can't be vulnerable Remember this house? Which one? This one? Yes? You don't remember this house? What's in the open day? This is Chief Benson's house. Your father told me that I used to go there and play. You, you, you have not had a play, Mr. Chief Benson. I know, I know. Sandra? Sandra? Can't remember Sandra. You will be Sandra. Sandra. What child will play next? I can't play next. Ah! Hey! Ah, ah! No, I don't remember one thing. You said that Chief Chief Benson's house. Hmm. How about this house? You still don't remember. What can you remember? It may happen for this place now. This, this, these are the houses you used to go to. The neighborhood houses. Yeah? Yes. So I don't go to these houses. Yes. Ha. Your father told me. Hey. Why well, don't they remember now? I don't, they, I don't, I don't know if you remember all these things. She don't die. She will stay with you. She Who would believe that someone is married to his enemy and he can still be happy in it? Brother, I swear the thing shocked me. Like, she completely changed. Like a new heart came out. <laughs> and I never thought I could warm up to a woman like I have for Shannis. I never believed that one day you are going to fall in love. Yes, you are in love. And I'm so happy about that. Thank you so much, my brother. I, I am not going to deny it, Omar. Shanice has taken me to a place that I can't even come out from. But the solid changing 
personality and absence of vital memories? Are there solid scientific and medical justifications? What if she's playing with this new identity? Yes. <laughs> then she must be a good actress and deserve an award. But bro, how can an exposed girl suddenly become loyal, submissive, respectful, and even local, and still be consistent in it? No, now it's it's not easy for people to pretend too long, is it? Well, they are right when they say that love is blind. Well, the most important thing right here is you are happy. And when you are happy as my friend, I am so happy too. Well, the problem is that I don't want you to get hurt. You know you're my friend. Thank you so much. Um, but you know, um, for some reason, I feel there's an agenda. But nevertheless, I'm in good hands. <laughs> okay, if you say so. Did you check up on Shamus? How is she doing? Suddenly, she's getting on well. Mm -hmm. Well, from your tone, it appears you think that that's not good enough for business. I share your concern, but it might just work in our favor. You think so? It is time to act. That's good, Chief. We should do this while um, she's still emotionally attached to him. I'll have her still and bring us the recipe book. That would be a setback for Dynasty. So? Yes. Because they will just modify their existing recipe and bring up new ideas that will make them strive. But it cannot take them out of business. Can't do it's not a good stuff. I can think about it. What will you have me do then? Destroy them completely. The reputation and business. You see, I want to enjoy monopoly. And the only way I can achieve that is not by stealing a mere document whose ideas can be modified, but by crushing their reputation and business. In such a way that they will fall and never rise again. I'm with you, Chief. Thank you. If you don't feel the need to make your confessions to me, then why bring me out in the first place? Why not go make your confessions to the priest? Yeah? Priest, what? Hey, wow. <clears throat> me, would they see myself as better sinner? Eh? Me, I, I, I they see myself as someone with the dirty, dirty, dirty. I'm not fit. If, was, if, I, if, I, if I find myself for that place, Holy Spirit will tear me better slap. I'm not fit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this is connected to what you were asked to do with Harry Ruby, right? Well, I understand you cannot say anything, but why are you feeling bothered? Tell me, why? Listen, in this world of business, Shanice understood that it was very normal to bring someone down to gain advantage in business. But your ideas about this world, this life, seem so innocent. Yeah, I get choice. I don't get choice now. Mabel, 
Now by force I go do one. What if I no want do one? Eh? What is this thing? What did they say? Make her do go go drag him down, destroy him. Eh? We didn't go lose everything. What did go come do? What did I go do? Hey, I can see you are in love with Harry Obi. You are in love. Do you know why Shanice never saw anything good in Harry? That's because she knew feelings like love, care, guilt would make her weak in her mission. And that was bad for business. Hmm. Okay. Listen. I cannot tell you what to do. I can only say, do whatever makes you sleep well at night. That's you. You don't go ask me anything. You don't go ask me waiting at the hide. Waiting at. You don't want to know what's happen to your best friend. You don't want to know anything at all. You don't want to make I open up. I'm sure. When you're choked up to your neck, you will definitely open up whenever you want to. I want to tell you something. The next time you have the bright idea to invite me out, better be ready to tell me the truth. Else, don't. Because only my best friend has the right. Okay? And you're definitely not her. And I'm, I'm here to claim what I paid for. It's okay if you don't want to do this. I'll just help myself outside. Eh? Now what is the hungry you? He, eh? No, I no go grill. I no go grill. Make my husband deal with another woman. You no go touch another woman. No, I no go grill. Eh? Uh -huh. Um, how many picking will you want, sir? <laughs> you go first. Tell me, how many do you want? Mm, I want six, so six no go bad. So I want me on my picking do they play with each other? Six. Mm -hmm. It bad. Uh, six is too much. Let, let's let's just have like three kids. Three? No, six. Ha. No, 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 no. Three kids. Six is too much. Maybe we do them like this. You go have three boys. Me, I'll have three girls. You good? <laughs> okay. Right. Mm -hmm. You don't make him sick now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, um, should we start making babies? You know, having children is going to strengthen this alliance and it will make it strong and unbreakable. Should we? Maybe <laughs> we do. What are you searching for? Emma, I think I think search for something maybe like a diary. They go help me remember my my former life. I, I no come to remember anything. So I say make I come here find diary. They go they go help me. Quit with the lies. What did you do with the real daughter of this family? Because I know you're an imposter. Hey, 
I will have you and your entire family arrested. Speak now! Ma, I, I am in the best position to tell you everything, ma'am. But the walls of this house are yours. Pass that now. And I want to hear the truth. Don't tell me she's a product of the heart transplant. Because I followed her brother home. And I discovered she has her own identity, different from our own Shannes. She's Clara. Now tell me, what did you do with our Shannes? I have kept the secret because I've been promised so much. Clara here has what it takes to seal this marriage and finish the combination. And this is why I brought her in to complete what Janice started. Very well then. 50% of what you are promised and don't try to play smart. If you do, I burn you, Mr. Thomas. Hey! Oh, no, no, no. I don't die. Hey! Hey, <laughs> Poco! Hey! This is so beautiful. I'm sure you're going to like it. See, don't you like it? Babe. Hi. You are just absent minded. Is something bothering you? Hi. Hi, head full, though. My head full, well, well, though. Everything is so, everything will be alright. We know we promise to be there for each other. Um, you can always count on me, and I'll be there for you. That one day, true. That one day, try. I know, say you trust me. We trust you too. But this thing that you say you love me, you, you really mean that? Wholeheartedly. Look, I have been showing you how much I love you. Have you not noticed? Oh, yeah, I don't. I don't notice some more. Uh, I don't know. Uh, eh? The question where I want us. Uh, eh, like, like now, maybe if I, maybe if I did inside one while like that, because I, I want solve another while with you. You, you go, you go, come save me. You go, you go, still love me, like you, you say you love me now. Um, if I, 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 I don't know what is really bothering me, but one thing is for sure: Harry will be doesn't abandon people he loves. Just go ahead and tell me what it is, and I help you. Hmm. You know, if you help me, nobody if you help me at all. Nobody if you help me. I just need me to feel help myself. Oh, I don't know Allah, where I don't enter. You be like say devil, just go so on big black pants, say make I wear. I can tell you. I only need me to feel help myself. Oh. Hey! Make it. <sighs> no one. Hey. My daughter, you look lean. Are you eating well? Papa, eh? The thing you say make I do, eh? It's, it's commuting food for my body. Eh, what do you How will I chop when you say I, I, should, I should kill my husband? I, I cannot be kidding like that. 
But he is not your husband. He's eh? just your husband in name. He's actually a business competitor. But is this why you are delaying? Oh, are you feeling sorry for him or you are falling in love? Mm, Papa, this person is my husband. He's my husband. Eh? Oh, can you give me? He's my husband and oh, my, my heart is not too strong. He's not even strong at all. He's not strong. Look, oh, not this so is cool. nothing bad. This is play smart. Eh? I never knew that a day like this will come that I will tell you that, oh, I'm very proud of you. Eh? Because you have managed to win Harry's unwavering trust. You know? Now, this has made our plan easier. It has made it so easy. So, take advantage of this trust. Go and plant the chemicals and bring them down for good. Hey! 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 Papa, hey! hey. You, you know me and this my husband there. Eh? He trusts me way, way, way. Anything when I talk, he believe him. And he, he loves me. How oh, will I now we get him like that? Hey, Chai, but no, no, no. No, no. Papa. He's just pretending to you that he loves you. Mm -mm. So that he can use you against me. Dad. Let me tell you. In this business, there's no room for love. Yes. No room for love. So go and do as you're told. Oh, come on. Don't let me down. Eh? Don't let your daddy down, okay? Hey! A baby girl. Hey! Eh, Ujimu, ato kwara mato. Ujimiki, hey, my own don't finish, eh? Hey! Sweetheart, we're almost there. Hey! Dim, my own husband. No. Shanis. This is my Shanis. Come on. Hey! What's he doing here? Okay. So, do what you want to do. A little push is necessary. Huh? Come here now. Eh? Eh? Speak to her people. Speak to her people. Hmm? People, what? Hello? Una, are they okay? She naked. Hey! Ah, ah, what? Let me say, it's okay, it's okay. Wait! Hey now! Ah, ah, my people! Look, you see that? This will make you take me seriously. Okay, okay, so must now. It's not be, not be waiting with talk now. Why you put my family into it? You are the one dragging me to all this. Well, you don't tell my family, say Clara don't die now. Why you come put you them? You are the one dragging me to all this. That's why the chemicals where you told to do them. And your family will be happy. You'll be fine. You have 48 hours to do that. I will kill them also. They do this thing to me now. Okay. Why you go bring my family into this thing? Now we think they won't make her do. They just want me I use my own hand destroy another person's life. Now we think they won't make her do. Hey! Wow. So this was the duty Shanice was to fulfill for her family. <sighs> but knowing she needs, she would have done it without thinking twice. Eh? Hey! You could tell you a heartless person. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not at all. Listen, it was their own way of eliminating business rivals and standing alone. Hmm. Oh, I see you don't want to do it. I know, Fito. I no fit, I don't get that kind of heart. But the team be they don't kidnap my family, they don't take them. And they put me safe, I no fit do and they go kill them. It's not go come do. Hi! I understand. Well, 
At this point, I think you should confide in Harry. You see? Yes, you should. He's the only one powerful enough to fight against them. Yes, he will understand perfectly. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He will understand that you're trying to protect him, even at the expense of your own family. Oh. What do you just talk now? Ah. No. You know, go walk down like, ah, ah. Harry go just push me away. You know, go agree, go say that I don't lie to him. Tay, 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 tay. You know, go ever believe me, go push me. You go tell me, make I come out, go. I don't want them. That won't come happen. My family now, they go destroy them, they go kill them. Just because uh, I, I get good at. Well, hi. That's a possibility. But if there's anything I've come to understand, is the fact that Harry loves you. Yes. And trust me when I say love sees no wrong. It embraces good. <laughs> Besides, you don't have a choice. Yes, you don't. The only option you have is to confide in Harry. Because he's the only person that's equally powerful enough to fight them. Oh. Trust me, darling. You cannot outsmart them. You can't. Hmm. And when it comes to money, <laughs> the rich are ruthless. Mm -hmm. Hey! Chen Wala, we are doing though. Which kind of problem be this one, eh? Hey! I want to know why Dallas T Hotels and Resorts is disbanded. Give me an explanation. I'm sorry, Chief, but your daughter is well. Here. She got to close and didn't know to her. And suddenly she's feeling guilty about it. Well, we can't help that. The challenge that I raised does not allow love for any form of affection to stand in the way of business and duties. Whose heart is she carrying? I want to meet the family and understand the donor. Sorry about that, Chief. That will not solve our dilemma for now. I didn't expect her to fall in love. This is messing her go. You see, you promised that you get her in line and that you'll make sure that she delivers. So you must keep your promise. If you cannot do it yourself, I'll make sure that it gets messy for you. I'm sorry about that, Chief. I'm not giving up. I put some modalities up to motivate her into delivering. I'm sure with the plans I have, she'll do whatever I would ask her to do. Just make sure that my daughter does not get hurt. A little mind game will do the job. Nothing physical. Do we have an understanding? Yes, Chief. Nothing physical. Everything will work according to plan. Open the gate! I pray that it be better done today and now yesterday. I'm angry. <laughs> Where is they go? Leave me now. I'll see you when I come back. I still need her. I am the friend of Ella. They have to become Stacey ID. Yes. How may I help? Sir, someone. Consume a poisonous chemical from your restaurant a few days ago. Hey! Hey! Ah. You have a search warrant. You search your car and everywhere. Hey! Hey! Search it! No! My, my, my husband knows it like that. So Don't worry, yeah. let them just do search whatever now. they want to do. Because you know search. Poisonous chemical on me. You! You 
What's the hurry up? I'm, I'm going now. What, what's the meaning of this? Eh? There is nothing in the car. Ma'am? I found the address. Hey. Eh? No. Uh, officer, I, I don't know how this got into my car. Maybe, maybe someone is trying to frame mm, me. Maybe. I can never use the poisonous uh, uh, substance. This, this must be the handwork of my business yes, rival. Shut up! You experiment with people's lives without their consent. Ah. What is your goal? What do you hope to achieve? Destroying people's internal organs. By the time we are done drilling you in our station, you will be eager to confess. Your money or connection cannot save you. Honestly, officer, I, I, I don't know how this got into mm. my car. It's not me. I cannot use a poisonous. You are under arrest. Eh? For the attempt murder of one Mr. Ben. Move it. Eh? No. no. When he says call you girl. <laughs> very, very good. That was very good of you, Clara. You have succeeded in eliminating the enemy. The task Chalice would have failed. She'll be happy wherever she is now. Now, wicked man, where you be? You go rot. You go rot for hell. You go see him. Now, wicked man, you be. Me rot in jail. Why? <laughs> because I brought a man down for money. But you did the same thing for your family. Look, the fact is, a man's life is ruined forever. So if I'm going down, if I'm rotting in her, both of us will rot in her. That's, that's only me, both of us. I'm, I'm not happy with you, dog. You, you promised me, you said that if I do it, you ask me to give you give me my family, I won't see them when they day. Calm down, calm down. Now, what did you promise me be that too? Yes, I did. You see, I'm a man of my word. You've served your purpose. I'll arrange for you and your family to disappear. And as for Chief, I'll look for a reasonable excuse to give to him about the disappearance of uh, his daughter Chalice. I'll find a reasonable excuse to give to him about the disappearance of his daughter Chalice from his life. Whatever I say to him will make you look bright. It will paint a bad picture of you before him. At least that will make him to sleep at night. Yeah, no, I know in the talk. Where I go see them? Take me to them now, because. You see, we I want to change your life. Look, look at what you have You have a mother, you have, you have, you have a sibling. They can't think can three times a day. Please, Clara, I want you to do this for me. I know, feet. At least, not for anything. Just do it because of your family background, okay? Okay, what thing they talk? You want me to to they live person life? Eh? Make a they like give people. Make a life give their parents. I no 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 I no fit to. Me, I know say we no one no get anything. No, but, eh, 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 eh. Clara, please, I know you can do it. Okay. Now I'll give you five million naira. Eh? Yes. Five guinea. Five million. Hey! Oga? Oh, hey! Why are you, why are you come to tempt me now? Eh? Five million! Hey!
I see where you very nice. Show me. See, see me. No, 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 me. I know they like you. No, no, me. See me. Ma, mama. Oh, no, no, me. Dep see now. See. No, 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 Clara, mama. Is it possible? The person you know that I buried you. Mama, the, the, the person where you buried resemble me. No. No, you, you no, don't know me. No, no, no. No, no, rest. Go down. Go down. Move up. Blow your head. What's going on here? We have been watching and following you. She better tell you say you go rot in hell. Eh? I tell my husband Harry every every way you they do. The whole plan you know, everything we can't plan our own too. Even the thing where you see for our house where police carry them. No, na lie you. Na drama. Na drama where we just ask for you there. Now, where me and you they talk so. In there for police station, they wait us, they chill. You, we go lock you up there. Mugu. My husband, he know everything. Your own dumb tell me, Mama. Na me, Mama. Na me now, Junior. I no resemble me. Mama, na, na me, Junior. See me now. Gee, you, you don't want me to see me. Mama, hi. Mama, oh, Junior. Oh, hey. <laughs> You will not for her, I tell you. I tell you. I don't need to laugh. Come here, give this place. Come here, give this place. Come Come on. and everything, you know? Yes. Can start from that. Uh, <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. Oh, yes. 100%. That was just a matter of time. Hmm. Just a matter of time. I just knew it. You this know? is good. I love you, baby. I love you. Oh, my goodness. You trust me. Oh, I think I'm, I'm so, so lucky to have you. <laughs> so where would you like to go spend, uh, you know, time? Let's, let's chase the weather. Dubai to France, France to New York. Globe trotting, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I trust you. <laughs> wow. All right, let's... Uh, yeah. mm. Love you. You're beautiful. Thank you. Eddie. My darling is mm. beautiful. Mm. time. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. I love the way you love me. What's that? What's going on? What's going on?
what's going on. I am Inspector Ella Yakubu. Chief, you are under arrest for the conspiracy to kill one Mr. Ben. You have the right to remain silent as anything you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. Charles, you brought the police to arrest me? Your father? Charles. Harry. You did this. This is not Shanice. She's Clara. Shanice is look alike. What? No. On that fateful day in the hotel. Shanice. 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 I found Chinese overdose with her drug. She suddenly died. I could not break the news to you to tell you that you had lost your only child. Coincidentally, I met Clara here. She shares the same body and look as Chinese. So I coerced her into becoming Chinese. Proceeded with the marriage plans. I paid the doctor to come up with a lie of a heart transplant and to stop your suspicion and question on character and personality change. But Clara here drilled. Along the line, she fell in love with Harry and decided to work against us. Chief, I'm sorry. Chinese is dead. Thomas. 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 Hey, 
Wow, well, so let's raise our glasses to new beginnings, new friendships, new relationships. Okay. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Well, good health. <laughs> These people. Who they sat here? Bring. Did he bring me? Wait now. And Nancy, I see me. I tell you, thank you for everything that you do for me, for the encouragement, everything, every, every. I won't say thank you. Oh. You just take me as if I need to be your best friend. Why I need to be your best friend? Now, why I say, please make you be my best friend. You know, they easy to find a person who be like you. Mm -hmm. yeah? Of course, I'll be your friend, Clara. In fact, your best friend. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. I thank the heavens for bringing. Shanice back into my life as you. Sure. You know, she is a good person. Well, she was a good person. But it's so unfortunate that she was raised by the wrong parents. <sighs> well, but trust me, you're my friend now. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Were you able to attend Chief's funeral? I just couldn't bring myself to attend. You know, see that man, I don't believe, see, I don't be your daughter. Eh, but, eh, uh, forgot to more see me, I come see them. You think, see, make my day. Your conscience has always guided you through life. Don't stop listening to it. In all these things, I just, I just thank God that Lady Margaret has been taken to where she belongs. Well, that's by the way. Hmm. What an interesting switch. I mean, Clara is your destined wife. Who had to come into your life as Shanice? Wow. This is really interesting. <laughs> she will still be my wife if she would um, accept to marry me again. This time as Clara and not Shanice. If she would marry me for love and not for any kind of alliance. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, will you marry me? Will you marry me? Hey, you should have asked. Put that for my finger. Hey, oh, it's beautiful. Hey, people. Come, guys. Hey. 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 He's got money, he's got power, he's got everything What could he be looking for? He's got everything, yet he's not satisfied Poor man is seeking for survival While the rich man is looking for exaltation And under the pressure of formation the beast you have murdered is running the world now The animal you created is beating the bush right now oh, The bridge man cried The rich man cried Have you seen the rich man cry? In his paradise